God does not allow us to eat food that was not slaughtered properly. Okay, I can understand that, but Rabbi, you know, you this, you that. That's fine. That's not the only consideration. Another consideration is blood. It says, <clears throat> a person that eats blood from an animal, is an expression of God's kind of direct attention. And uh, to a person that eats blood, there's a consequential karet uh, um, associated with that uh, prohibition. And so blood of an animal should uh, is not allowed to be consumed. And therefore, that Shalom, if a person eats uh, food that is not that is not kosher, kosher meat, not only was, is it not slaughtered, they also have the issue with blood. But the question today is, what happens about blood that maybe came out of your finger? Are you allowed to swallow it? Like if you just let it suck your finger mm -hmm. when there's some blood over there, or if you bite an apple and some blood came out of your lip, you see it on the apple or on a piece of bread, you have to remove it because it's blood. You're not allowed to eat blood. What do we do? And so the uh, says Rav Yitzchak Yosef that in such an instance, if it's on an apple or a piece of food on bread, remove it. Uh, but if it's on your finger, it depends. If it's still uh, moist, you're allowed to lick it away if you enjoy it. Uh, Halloween soon. And if you uh, and if it's dry, you're not allowed to uh, consume it. So don't say shakol. But <laughs> well, well, now also another thing is sometimes you may have blood between your teeth after flossing or something. You're allowed to kind of like have a swallowing kind of pull for that blood, and that's also not uh, a problem and a prohibition because again, it's not blood shapiresh. It's not blood that has uh, been uh, extracted. From, from the flesh, uh, meaning that's outside invisible, and that's why it's allowed. So just to conclude, the kosher kashut uh, sensitivities apply to so many different layers within an item that we consume, uh, out of which there is a very basic one, that is the blood, that we are very sensitive to it, and uh, who wants us to have a pure nefesh. The animals that we eat, the way that we prepare them for eating, and the things that we consume also that we shouldn't even see blood, we shouldn't consume blood, we should have pure, clean dietary uh, regulations and habits. And that really does a lot for our soul. When our soul is, is refined like that, it, it's, it has the capacity to pray and have connection with the Shem through our prayer, to learn Torah and really open our heart with the Torah. But sometimes we try to get all this bracha, but we're closing it off because there is uh, a barrier of different types of things. And so we want to prepare ourselves for that straight connection with Hashem. Amen, amen, amen.